What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gen Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. <clears throat> Brian, this is still a rumor, but it's an exciting one. One that makes sense. To tell this story doesn't require, although it would have been dope to see a movie, but I would have wanted to see a specific movie. With this, you solve this by uh, doing it this way, which has been sort of teased, Brian, as a format, Brian, that you spoke of last time that seems to work or have worked with Werewolf by Night. That special presentation, uh, a sort of launch pad for new characters um to sort of gauge the popularity uh, uh of these new characters silver surfer brian is a character that i've been waiting to see on the screen for a long time we've we've seen them before they just haven't been great This Silver Surfer special, Brian, how do you see this story? Or what story do you think they would tell on this show? Ooh, so one hour to we'll work with. I think it has to be an origin of some kind. The way I have it conceived in my head when I first heard of this is that idea. My first reaction was, yeah, that having having seen how they approached Werewolf by Night as an introduction to monsters, I was like, yep, I could see how this would work. So my guess would be the show will be much more a Norrin Rand show, and the surfer will be the payoff, but you and you'll get similar to Werewolf by Night, where the werewolf only really appears in the last 10, 12 minutes of the special. I think the surfer will get kind of one like action hurrah, if you will, to kind of tease you as to what is possible from a technology standpoint and a feel and an action standpoint. And that's it. It'll be sort of like a, did you like that? Did you want more of that? Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. sets the stage for both the Norrin Rand lifetime where, you know, I think even as the surfer in the animated show, right, he flashes back, right, to that to that time. So you, you set the stage for that. You have that, the Rand part, and then you have the surfer part. I think that's it. Now, I, and I think that's, it's so alien in some ways, like that's so far out into space. I think that's enough for an hour. Like I, I can debate with I me. Mean, I'll let you opine on it, but whether or not Galactus, he probably need, he needs to be in it. If the surfer is going to appear, but the manner in which he's in it, I think you can kind of TBD it. I don't think he has to play much of a role uh, as a character. I think as a presence maybe, but as a guy, I'd be curious to see like how much would you actually want to give away for lack of a better word in one hour here. I think for the character of Galactus, I mean, all you'll see is this big ship, perhaps a very close up of his face, but his overall stature, overall stature, you probably won't see until we probably get to Earth, whatever. Um, so I think you could get away with hiding Galactus a bit. Um, the story that you would tell, all you have to do is go to, back to the first couple of episodes of the Silver Surfer animated series on Disney Plus. Those first three or two episodes, I believe, tells it all and in in, 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 in it just sets the stage for the future, which is what they want to do, Brian. Um, the story of the, of the surfer is a very tragic story, man. It's a very lonely story. Zen La, I mean, we, don't, we always have, only have to do this once. We only have to do it once, Brian. Because after that, once Silver Surfer breaks his uh, um, 
oath to Galactus, Zilla disappears and then sets Z Silver Surfer on his quest to find it. Um, if anyone wants to see what a S Silver Surfer special would look like, you go to the first couple of episodes of the Silver Surfer animated series. And that's a story you tell very simple with the same gravitas. Get some good actors, Brian, because it requires a certain delivery. It can't be regular dude on the street talking. It has to be said in a specific way because this is supposed to be a utopia. This is where everyone comes to find peace, to learn a new way. So this has to be, all you got to do is do it once, Brian. And it works. Do you want to see that in the special? Of course. You feel like it has to be, that has to be the central, that you actually have to see it. Because This is a character where I feel like you can mess around with time a lot if you want. So I, I, I thought about it, right? So I've thought about the idea of like, hey, it's nor you. Another way you could do it if you is you could actually start, you could do it from the eyes of the surfer. So you could jump in. He is the surfer. You could showcase the destruction of a world where he is the herald of Galactus. And then almost as that's occurring, he could you go inside his mind. He flashes back. Now, this is a character where you don't have to be linear, I guess is my point. So the question is, do you need to see those payoffs in this one hour? Or would you rather see them held back or alluded to or teased and then put on the big screen or something, you know, if it, if it works? You can tell the story many ways, yes. Um, I think if you go that route, he, something would have had to have happened to him in order for him to start having those triggers. I don't believe. Because if you go into the comics or, or the cartoon that I saw, he always wondered, but had no memory. He always wondered who he was. Right. But had no memory until Thanos broke some sort of memory uh, thing that Galactus held, that held all of his memories, something Galactus put place in his mind to hold all of his memories, and he broke it. And that's how Silver Surfer started to understand and just wanted whatever, nothing to do with Galactus. But I want, my feeling is I want, I want to see Zen Lao. I want to see what this, this utopia look like. Right? I want to see him, uh, that love that he had with Shalabao, you know, uh, I want to see that. And I want to see the sacrifice. I want to see the coming of Galactus. I want to see the people terrified. I want to see the, the, the him talking to the, to, to, I forget who they, what, what they call the leader of that world. Uh, um, him talking to him and saying that, he, you know, the watcher even shows up. A yeah. lot happens in this. That's why it's like this is if this is fifty two minutes the way Werewolf by Night is like you're running out of room this is to make fast this pace. Really work. Yeah, it's fast. So that's why it feels like some of this stuff has to be hinted at or teased in the dialogue, but not shown if you're using this as like a test drive for the character. But you have to show the surfer, right? You can't do a server surfer special and not have the surfer. I'm telling you so, that transformation for me. That transformation. For me, is everything. I would rather just see ten minutes of Surfer finding a planet and, and seeing Galactus devour a planet, and that be the end. Just to see it be done, because you know, flashback. I want to see the whole process. That would be dope. Yeah. I mean, I think it could be great. I told him, I, 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 I would. Be, I'm going to be fascinated to see who they get to direct this, because I feel like part of the reason Werewolf worked so well is Chikino who was not a director, right? He's a, he's a, he's a musical score guy, yeah. had a vision for how to make this work. They let him execute it and they got a brilliant outcome. And now they feel like we are starting to hear these rumors. It's not just Silver Surfer, right? We mentioned the Nova one. There, there's 
rumors that Marvel's like, aha, this is a way for us to experiment with what audiences really want to see from our catalog without committing $200 million and a full promotional global tour to a box off to a theatrical release. And I think yeah. they're absolutely right. Yeah. But like, there is a part of me that's like some of these huge scale things that we're talking about in terms of Galactus and the Surfer. I'm like, hey, don't, don't put that on my small screen. Like, if you want to show that to me, like, give me a taste, but don't give me the I main hear event. You. I hear you. I mean, again, with Galactus, you don't have to. You could be very playful in terms of how you do Galactus in that sort of thing. You don't want to show too much. You can show his spaceship. You can show probably his face, but in terms of his whole feet, everything that works, I don't know. But that's up to them. And the hope is that they don't ruin the whole thing for the movie when you see, because the scene, Brian, that I'm waiting for is when Galactus talks to Reed. When Reed is actually able to talk to Galactus. That conversation is fascinating to me because a being such as Galactus gets to respect Reed. That's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. So we'll see that. I mean... Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of this possibility and what story that you want them to tell. Um, do you want flashbacks or, or or do you want... I'm telling you, watch that first few episodes of, 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 of The Silver Surfer, of how he becomes a Silver Surfer. That right there sets the stage. And I think that one... Those first few episodes can be done in an hour, hour 10, hour 20, who knows. Um to sort of set the stage for the future for when he does arrive on earth. Um, yeah. Let us know in the conversation below. We'll see you next time on the Nerd Jam Report.